Hey guys, this is episode 72 of the Daily BE, and similar to episode 71, we are getting right into it. And in that previous episode, I was going over kind of a case study on this recent tuxedo that we really liked. And one of the things that I mentioned was how many sleeve buttonholes to have. Uh, this coat has three, and I mentioned that it's kind of becoming a bespoke edge tr tradition where on a lot of the, the jackets that Brett and I wear and Ron too, we tend to go with three buttons. And for us, it's primarily kind of balancing uh, the level of having a still relatively formal coat, but at the same time doing things a little bit differently to help our coats and our suits stand apart from the crowd. But that got, got me thinking as far as on that greater topic of how many sleeve buttonholes should you have, you know, what can I kind of say about that? And I have two different coats here. This is, of course, the tuxedo from the previous episode. And this is my uh, beloved summer casual uh, suit. And they're both working buttonholes. They're both surgeon cuffs, of course. And this is a very, very formal coat. This is a, a relatively casual coat. This is a, a linen and wool blend. And this is a wool and cashmere blend. Very luxurious, very cool liner. This says no liner. So two different directions here. And they both have three buttonholes. So why is that? On this coat, we believe that anywhere between four and three is still pretty formal, still pretty dressed up. Three being kind of borderline. And on a summer coat, I would say three, two, or one button is probably appropriate. Uh, the fewer buttons you have, the more casual the whole look's going to get. Okay, so the summer coat, you could probably get away with having two or even just one. But then you have a much more casual look. And I certainly wouldn't go any fewer than three on a tuxedo. So it's really up to you. And a lot of it kind of depends on where you're going to wear this coat, where you're going to um, you know, choose your fabrics. Uh, is it going to be daytime, nighttime? A lot of different variables come into play. But the key takeaway is that the fewer buttons you have, the more casual it's going to get. So keep that in mind as you're building your coats. Uh, if you're working with a custom retailer or a bespoke retailer, um, it really just depends on the look that you're going for. And oh, one more thing is the other direction. What if you had five buttons? That's quite a few, right? And you rarely see that. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with it. I just think that on a case-by-case -case basis, it really depends on what you want because you're going to have a lot going on on your sleeve. It's going to get pretty busy looking. Um, it can be a cool look, though. Again, it's not something that I personally own or can even show you, kind of think of it. I don't think between Brett, Ron, or myself, we even have a five-sleeve um, button coat. Um, but it's still kind of cool. It's something that uh, comes up now and again. Uh, personally, I think it's just a little bit too busy of a look, but that's just for me. Uh, it could work for you totally. So your options are really from five down to just one button. And the farther down you get, the, or excuse me, the, the fewer buttons you have, the more casual that coat's going to be. Does that make sense? Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know in the comments below how many buttons you have on your sleeves and why. I'm kind of curious what your thoughts are. And don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.